Are you interested in movies with witches that are portrayed in an original and unique way that kind of gives it a creepier vibe and a basements and a lot more? Then come check this review out. See you soon. Well, hello there, horror fans. This is, uh, Andrew here to give you a movie review. Um, the movie I've selected is Baghead. Uh, this one just came to Shudder very recently. It's a hour 34. Um, didn't get a very good rating on Rotten Tomato, but the fans gave it 60 something percent. So I decided I'd, I'd give it a watch. Uh, check it out on Shudder if, if you like. Um, so this one's directed by Alberto Corridor, who, um, also did the um, uh, directing and um, film editing for the short um, Baghead from 2017, which uh, was written by Lorcan Riley. So kind of cool. I like when they they bring bring a short film to a, a full full length. Let's just move on here. We've also got uh, the writers for this one or screenwriter. Um, Bryce McGuire, who did uh, the screenwrite and uh, directed A Night Swim. And then we got uh, the another writer, um, Christina Pammies. Um, this, I believe, it's her debut. Um, let's just jump into the cast real fast. We got Freya Allen playing Iris in this one. She's probably better known, or best known for her part in The Witcher as Ciri, but she's also going to be in the new um, Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. It's coming out this year. And we've also got Jeremy Irvine, who plays Neil in this one. He was in The Woman in Black 2. So let's uh, keep moving on here. We got Ruby Barker, um, who was in Bridgerton, the, the show. Um, that's basically the cast. Um, there's a few people I'm missing, but I don't want to bore you. Uh, so, basically, this one starts off, um, you know, kind of gives you, like, the whole feel of what this is going to be about. The person that owns this establishment, this bar, has this person in the basement and apparently it's, it's a, it's, it, the impression I got was it's just like a evil entity or person, whatever. It's kind of confusing. I didn't, I didn't really watch the preview for this one at all or trailer or anything. So I went in blind and I was kind of like, okay, this, this, this works out. Okay. And then, uh, I, I was just kind of, I was confused for the first 10 minutes, I guess. Which, I guess you're kind of supposed to be, but anyways, the beginning, um, the person, it's kind of, kind of gives you, a, sort of typical, uh, horror trope vibes in a way, but it has its own unique, um, style to it, I'd say. So, basically, the, the person's trying to stop the entity from, or whatever you want to call it, we'll go into that later, from, from wreaking havoc elsewhere. So he burns, tries to burn the place down. It doesn't really work. Uh, what he didn't know was that his daughter was going to get the place. And basically this curse, as it, as it were at the time here, is going to inflict the same problems on his daughter that happened to him. Which is very, uh, very, I, I, I thought this was pretty an intriguing plot, intriguing um, story seemed, seemed somewhat original, and, um, Frey Allen is a really good actress. I, I think she's, she's gonna be in some, uh, some good horror films, hopefully, uh, in the future. I will say the, uh, the effectiveness of having the, um, the witch, I guess you, you they call, they call her in this, um, it does give you a good, a background kind of I feel like in this in this um in this movie uh, the background of the the witch that uh basically 
uh, torments torments people in this one. It's it's a uh, it, you'll you'll understand a little better when you watch it. I won't go too deep into it, but they, I think they, they they I think this was well done with with the um, with the plot with the the witch with with what they did with it the creepiness of of just like a simple simple look to it and um i don't know basically this witch can show you people that have died but the problem is only only for two minutes but is that really does that really matter and that that's basically what the problem is with this is people people don't want to you know you don't want just two minutes with talking to someone that you loved who died that's i mean and i see that's that's a pretty good uh that's a pretty good uh uh hang hang on that like you i mean it's kind of unresistible so the witch's powers are very uh you know i mean you can't resist it I, I, unresistible essentially so that's basically the, the the struggle through this is trying to figure out a way to stop this uh this evil and or contain it and i'm not going to go too deep into how they do that i will say this one has a couple um effective scares i wish they would have done more with the uh witch um in in the um just like the scary vibe to it they didn't they didn't play off the darkness in the basement as much as i was hoping they would i like i really like i don't know that's just the creepiest thing to me um it's just basements basements are just creepy right um but i'm not gonna i'm not gonna delve into this too deeply i gave you kind of a kind of the thought to it um i think it was a good film i i i enjoyed it i mean Critics may say it was shitty, but I I think it was pretty damn good. So there you have it. Um, I'm going to be bringing you uh, new content very soon. Very excited. Hope you have a great rest of your day. And I'll see you soon.